Hi there, it's Lon. I'm preparing to preach for this coming Sunday, July 30th. It's the ninth Sunday in Pentecost and a pretty interesting Sunday. There's lots going on and I think that the uh, gospel is, is very exciting. It's Matthew 13 and it actually contains five parables of Jesus, uh, Jesus's parables about the kingdom of God. So they start with the kingdom of God is like, and then there's the various parables. So I'm gonna focus on, on one in particular, and I'll just read you the verses from it, uh, or one verse, actually Matthew 13, verse 45. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one very precious pearl, he went and sold all that he owned and bought it. Can you imagine anything in this world that you would sell everything you own, and yet that little thing belong, would fit in the palm of your hand? Pretty hard for us to imagine in this day and age, and even, even in the context of Jesus' day, I think it would have been uh, difficult to comprehend, and yet it's somehow a comparison of God's love for us, and I think we'll drill deeper on that Sunday coming. I look forward to that and look forward to, I uh, also want to challenge you that between now and then to think a little bit about your own parable, the parable of the kingdom of God is like, that you would add two sentences to your own sort of statement of faith, your own reason for being, reason for showing up in church, reason for your relationship with Christ. So think on that a little bit and we'll we'll ponder deeper on Sunday. Now I'm heading off uh, to Kenya. You can see my travel haircut, I'm good to go. Now, the first week of our time away, Marin and I will spend in, in a small parish, St. Thomas in Wandami, Kenya. And we'll be with Reverend uh, Criswell and his wife, Reverend Clarice both ordained, both active in ministry over there. Uh, Clarice is with the Mother's Union and, and Criswell takes care of the parish, St. Thomas in uh, Wandami. So I'll be preaching August 6th on the feeding of the 5,000. So do keep me in your prayers as I speak in a different context and, uh, and see what that's all about. When we come home, Marion and I plan to present to the parish in a couple of different contexts about uh, our time, but, uh, but based on a theme question of what can we learn from the church in Kenya. So the Anglican Church of Kenya, we hope, has lots to offer us, and we'll be bringing that home to you. Now, here at home in August, and nothing's changed for July. We got our nine o'clock at St. Mary's, 11.15 at St. Stephen's, but in August, we're going to have one service only each Sunday. So August 6th is at St. Stephen, August 13th at St. Mary. August 20th at St. Stephen. Those three are preached and presided at by um, our retired Bishop Logan McMenemy. And August 27th, uh, one service at 10 a.m. at St. Mary. Preached and presided, preacher and presider will be the Reverend uh, Dr. Brett Kane. Now, um, do check our website. Look at our website, look for emails to make sure, but what, for sure the service times are 10 o'clock. So keep track of that. Now, um, I look forward to seeing you when I get back, and I pray for each of you as I travel. May God bless you and keep you, and may you be healthy and happy and enjoy the rest of your summer. God's blessing.